Hey, hello, DPA friends. How are we? Paul Andrews here again with DPA Microphones, and today we have another product overview, something that I'm super excited about, the MMA-A. What is this? Let's take a look at a picture of it. Well, the MMA is exactly what it says, a digital audio interface, right? So what does it do? Well, it connects up to either your iPhone or via USB to a computer. Essentially what it is, is a stereo microphone preamplifier, analog to digital converter, directly into, like I said before, either your computer or an iPhone. This guy is about the size of a cookie. It's super cool, it's super efficient, really easy to use. Today is gonna to be a lot of fun because I'm gonna show you basically how it incorporates into your phone and I'm going to show you a bunch of accessories that we can accompany with this thing. Um, so let's let's geek out a little bit and go for it. So first off, we're going to take a look at some of the the various items that we're able to connect up. Obviously, uh, whether it be your iPad or phone or Mac computer or even a PC uh, via USB. Now, <clears throat> you see on the left hand side there, there are several different microphones and accessories that we can uh, that we can connect up to this. So we're taking a look at the MMA itself. You can see here I have it connected up to the telephone and then if we want we can connect it up via USB into my computer as well. Let's dive in a little bit deeper with this guy. Now there is a proprietary app that comes uh, that you can get from the, the app store uh, just labeled the MMA, and it looks like this guy right here. Okay, so right now it's giving you some various controls that we can work with, but we don't have any microphones connected. So first thing, one of our 4060s, this is a five millimeter capsule. Notice how it's got this cute little micro dot connector that we are going to connect up right here. And we should start to see some levels bounce around as I make the connection here. So now we've got this nice little miniature lav microphone connected. You can see the levels. Right now it's in mono mode, right? We have level adjustment. We can also put a high pass filter on that. So let's build a setup. Let's say we're gonna put this lavalier on ourselves for either speaking or singing, but then we can come in with an instrument microphone like this one. This is the 4099 and we can start to connect it up here. Now, typically I would use an extension cable that looks like this guy right here. So now you notice that both of the faders are active. I'm in dual mode, so this is gonna create two different mono files for me, which is neat. And I have complete control over the gains. Again, the high pass filter can be engaged. Once I have all this set, I can create a preset and lock that in, okay? But then I can also lock the screen so that nothing can be disturbed. I can record into stereo mode, so now it's interleaved, or I can sum everything into a mono mode like this, right? This app itself doesn't actually do any of the recording. This is only control for the interface itself. Now, as far as going and recording into uh, various apps on your phone, we'll jump into that in just a little bit. Obviously, we can do miniature lab or mic microphones like this. So let's say we do two of those and we put them, we can be in an interview situation where two people are having a conversation or talking back and forth. Or we can have this in a scenario like I mentioned before where you can have this on yourself. And let's say the 4099 instrument mic is connected up to say your guitar. And I'm gonna bring some of these adapters in just to show you. So whether it be like the guitar adapter, right? Or let's say we wanna set it in with the piano adapter, or let's go in with the violin and the viola adapter. Our drum adapter, all of these things are available for this 4099 microphone that allow you to, this is our alligator clip. This is really great. Music stands, basically anything you can connect that up to. So you're starting to get this bigger picture of like, wow, okay, 
many, many applications I can use this 4099 microphone with in regards to the MMA device itself, right? But let's take this even a step further now. I'm gonna introduce this guy right here. This is what we like to call an active cable, or more specifically, the MMPG. Now, you see here, it's terminated to the micro dot, but it also has this crazy looking guy here at the end. Well, this allows you to go modular with what I would call our higher end premium capsules. The 2011 capsule, for instance, that threads right in there like this, as do many of the capsules, whether it be our 4017 shotgun capsule, the 4011 cardioid, or even the 4006 Omni. And that's just a taste of what can be applied to the active cable here and then taken right into the MMA itself. So let's say we're in a scenario where we've got uh, a lav on me because I'm conducting an interview and I've got two people in front of me that I'm filming with my phone, but I need to be able to capture both of them. So what I can do is I can take this active cable and let's connect up the shotgun to it. And now I can connect this up via this adapter right here, connect that to a boom, and I can boom overhead my two talent subjects here back and forth. So now I'm able to capture all three of us in a really neat live scenario. The big thing that I think the MMA really does uh, thinking about live streaming because of the fact that today the iPhone cameras are pretty good. I'm using one right now. It's not too bad, right? But the audio, that's the thing in question. And that's what we always are trying to continually improve. What this does is it basically gives you that opportunity. Now, a few things about the MMA that I didn't mention earlier. Because of the fact that all of the microphones the DPA builds are uh, phantom power required, it's providing that power uh, to the microphones as necessary. But it doesn't drain the battery of your phone. I've had this on and have recorded audio for up to seven hours on a full charge with my phone. So you don't need to worry about running out of juice if you've got a full charge on your phone for, for the better part of the day. Back to these active cables here. Let's say I'm in more of a critical application recording environment and I either need a backup or I can use this as a primary. What I'm doing is I'm putting on the 4011 capsule like this right here, and I'm going to introduce this guy. This is a really neat proprietary adapter that DPA builds. You can see that I have one of them already connected up. So if I take and I connect up the second one, basically what this is allowing me is to create either an ORTF scenario like this, or an XY scenario like this, or both. But the neat thing about that is both of these cables terminate to the micro dot, which then can go to the MMA and directly into your phone. So now you're looking at basically world-class recording capability that can be set up in about five minutes, whether it's in a live scenario, you know, you're trying to capture a symphony orchestra or a band or whatever that happens to be in a scenario like this with our premium capsules, which I think is super cool. Does it work with Skype? That's a great question. Uh, the available apps that we know works very well. Okay, so I want you guys to take a look at this. Now, in terms of communication apps, let's take a look at this. All right, so what we do know is that the iPhone, uh, just a normal phone call, not so good. FaceTime's not so good. Skype, not so good. WhatsApp, absolutely. And Facebook Live, absolutely. Um, so just keep that in mind in terms of the communication apps. In terms of all of the live streaming apps, it's fantastic. In terms of the specs, 
Supported sample rates, which is really awesome, up to 96 kilohertz, which is really nice. That's all dependent upon the third-party app and whether that is capable of doing that or not. 24-bit resolution, the noise floor, minus 114 dBFS, A-weighted. Really good, really, really quiet device this is. All of the other interviews that we've been working with uh, in terms of what's been going on Facebook Live with DPA have been using the MMA interface. So uh, we, what we've basically been doing is we've been sending out to the guys we've been interviewing and having them connect them up to their computers. And so all of that audio that you've been hearing thus far, if you've been able to tune into any of those, have been through the MMA, which is super cool. Something that I'm super proud of. The MMA itself and one of our specific capsules, this guy right here, this is the 4006 Omni capsule right here. And these two units paired together are going to be housed onto the Perseverance Mars rover, which may have launched or is launching very soon. Uh, so these two guys, you think about that. One of our proprietary Omni capsules, as well as a DPA interface being housed, when basically they have opportunity to choose from any interface and any microphone on, well, the planet, I guess. <laughs> um, and they chose two of our units, which is just uh, very humbling. And, and we're super excited about that. So... When it finally lands next year, maybe we can hear uh, some Martian life say hello through a DPA microphone. Who knows? Um, and we're going to end it with a promotional video. So hang out and watch this. It's um, it's basically you know showing the 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 MMA and the 4006 uh, on the rover itself and and some of the things that they plan to capture audio wise with that. So